Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well. So in this video, I wanted to share some of my favorite knitwear pieces that I've been wearing repeatedly through autumn and now that I plan to wear through to winter. Starting with my first piece, which is a very classic knitwear piece. This is from Arquette and it's a really chunky beige wool jumper. I love this one because it has real good structure to it. So it really helps to elevate and lift my outfit. It's also really thick and warm, so it's going to be perfect during winter when I layer it underneath a coat. You truly can't go wrong with a piece like this because it's so versatile. You can wear it in so many ways. I have styled it with some wide leg trousers here because this was filmed during autumn, but I think I would style it with some chunky boots, jeans, and a big overcoat during winter. One of my favorite features on this jumper are the really oversized balloon sleeves. I think they really help to elevate the piece and make it seem less of a classic and more of a statement piece. I've been introducing a little bit of color into my wardrobe and I think it kind of started during summertime. Blue is a color that I naturally gravitate towards and I find wearing color during winter if you style it underneath a coat for a pop of color, I think it looks absolutely beautiful. I think it can really help to lift your outfit, make it feel less dull. I feel like winter outfits can start to look quite dark and muted. So this just helps to inject a little bit of fun and light into outfits. This is a cashmere jumper. It is so soft and so warm. It's a very comfortable jumper to wear. It's my perfect throw on and go jumper. And I think there are so many ways that you could wear this. It looks really great with blue denim for an all blue look, but also with some simple black or navy trousers and also grey. I think blue and grey complement each other so beautifully. And you could wear this both to the office, you could wear it at home and you can wear it for a casual day out. Moving on to another very classic piece. I feel like stripes are good all year round. I think you could wear it during any season and I love wearing it in winter. It gives a real Parisian feel and this jumper is actually from Samso and Samso. I fell in love with it because it's really chunky. I like that it has a split at the side so you can tuck it into your jeans, into your trousers really easily and it doesn't give that super bulky, bulgy look. I feel like you can create a really simple yet statement outfit with a striped jumper. I think injecting a bit of print into your wardrobe can really help to elevate your winter outfits or your autumn outfits. And I think if you're not used to prints, I think stripes are a really easy way to ease yourself into wearing more bolder patterns. But I really just love the combination of wearing a striped jumper with some blue jeans. I feel like it gives a real nice classic chic look. Especially when paired with a beige or black trench coat, it really gives a Parisian aesthetic. This particular jumper is also really chunky and warm, so I know I'll be wearing it in winter. I have surprised myself with this piece because I have worn it so often. And at first I thought it might be a little bit difficult to style, but actually there are so many ways that you could wear this piece. It's a sleeveless knit from Arquette and they have it in a few different prints and colours. I have this colour and I also have it in a houndstooth print. I really loved wearing this piece during that awkward transitional period of going from summer to autumn. But now that we're getting into winter, I think you can still style this with a turtleneck underneath. But for me, this is a piece that I could really dress up. If it's in winter, I could wear it in the evening with some heels and a chunky jacket on top. I feel like having a vintage flair to an outfit is really in at the moment. It's definitely something that's trending and I think you can touch on that with this outfit, but still while keeping it quite classic and quite neutral. This cardigan saw me through summer and autumn. This cardigan has seen me through summer and autumn. It's just the perfect throw on cardigan. It's from And Other Stories. It's in a really soft material and it's so warm and comfortable to wear. There's something so cosy about cardigans. There's something so cosy about cardigans and it's something that I really love to wear in multiple ways. I feel like you could wear it buttoned down as a simple cardigan or you can button it up so you give the effect of a jumper. Cardigans still look really great. I love layering up in winter and I think that they look really nice under a coat. I would probably style this with a big oversized navy coat for autumn and some bigger boots. I really love the tone of this cardigan, it's in a nice light grey, so it's very neutral and subdued. And sometimes I think when playing with really punchy tones like the blue denim, I think it really complements it well. 
My final piece surprised me as well, but as I said I'm trying a bit more to introduce colour into my wardrobe. And this is a pink jumper from Cezanne. I absolutely love this tone, I think it's so pretty. And I think that I could really introduce this into my wardrobe. I have to say this jumper is slightly sheer so you definitely need to lay it underneath it if you did want to wear it in winter. But I really love the delicate tone and the delicate outfit. I feel like because in winter I tend to dress quite bulky and oversized and slightly more masculine, I think injecting a colour like this and a piece like this will really help to make my outfits feel a little bit more feminine and still add a nice girly touch. So I filmed this video a while ago so it definitely wasn't cold so I wouldn't style it like this, I would definitely go for some different shoes, maybe some trainers or some boots and I'd probably throw on a nice oversized blazer. Okay and those are some of my favourite knitwear pieces, let me know what you think in the comment section below and I'll see you in my next one.